Wait! We can't stop here. This is bad country. Yeah, I may need help because I cannot stop playing this game. Post Void is a psychedelic roguelite shooter from YCJY Games, the maker of the Lovecraftian strategy game Sea Salt. Post Void is deviously simple. Get to the end of the level before your glass head runs out of liquid. If an enemy hurts you, you lose liquid. If you kill an enemy, you gain liquid. And if it's game over, well, you gotta start the whole trip over again. It's a white knuckle balancing act of trying to get through the game's 11 maze-like levels as fast as possible, running, sliding, and blasting away. If you love speed, in your shooters, and all things trippy, then this might be the game for you. Get in. I'm not totally sure what Post Void is about. There is a story which is appropriately vague and bizarre. The simple explanation is that you are trying to find a flower for which you need to make bloom with your idol full of liquid. However, if you ask me, I think it's about a dude that got way too high in his living room, broke the head off of his tiki statue, and ran out of his house screaming into the woods. That's my interpretation, and I'm sticking to it. The visuals of Post Void are an eye-catching mishmash of bright trippy neon colors and pixelated perversions, making for a game that is basically an hallucinogenic experience. The graphical style is clearly inspired by the classic shooters of old with its sprite-based enemies and ray-casted interiors, but the similarities end there as the art direction of Post Void takes far more from the likes of Hotline Miami. I think it's all really effective, and clearly a lot of thought went into how it all affects the player. In fact, the LSD-soaked cherry topper is that Post Void's visuals also serve a gameplay function. For starters, the levels can warp and wave, which is great for selling the psychedelic effects, but also makes it difficult to aim your weapon. Plus, the walls of the levels get darker and darker the further you get, making it far more difficult to navigate through the halls. Lastly, this game kind of hurts the play. There's a lot of flashing lights, specifically a white flash that happens whenever you fire your gun, which is constantly. In fact, the first time you play this, expect a bit of eye strain. Oh, and get ready for this crazy game over screen you're about to see a thousand times. If there was ever a game that could brainwash me with subliminal messaging, it's this one. It's quite the choice, and if you said the developer did it so they can make the player feel just as insane as the playable character, well, I'd have to agree. Prepare to be hunched in front of your computer, eyes wincing and darting around madly as you feverishly try to get through this game's mazes to get to your dopamine-inducing goal. <sighs> If all of that sounds horrible to you, or you're sensitive to flashing lights, no worries, you can turn them off in the options menu. But you will get some light protest from the developers. But for everyone else, you'll get used to the flashing lights. You might even crave them a little. Or maybe you just want to keep listening to the song. There's one music track that just keeps playing throughout Post Void. You'd think that would get old, but in fact it's kind of amazing. It's this obnoxious acid rocky jam that will lodge itself deeply into your head, which I didn't mind one bit. It works because it has a ton of different movements and melodies, which prevents it from being repetitive. And it just fits the look and tone of this game so well. All in all, it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but this game absolutely nails its presentation. Where do you see those goddamn bats, man? Now, of course, all of these flashing lights and hard guitar riffs are great and all, but what's going to keep you hooked to Post Void is its excellent gameplay. It's the right amount of speed, the right amount of punch to your weapons, and the right amount of difficulty to keep you hitting restart over and over and over, and Post Void's mazes are generated procedurally and often surprised me in how different they felt in each new run. They're littered with enemies around every corner, and the tricky placements will always catch you off guard. Oh yeah, and these enemy designs are nutty. Excuse me for pausing the frame so we can get a better look at them. Yeesh. Yeah, these guys are straight up nightmare inducing, and this guy looks a little cramped. New enemies are introduced every handful of levels, and in a brilliant and fiendish move by the developers, the new enemies get smaller and smaller as you go through the game, meaning they're harder and harder to hit, like these swarms of buzzing drones that blur your vision when you hit them. When you hit the end of each level, you have the choice of three random power-ups that grant you abilities like reloading faster, bigger clips, and more liquid in your idol, as well as new weapons like the powerful double barrel shotgun or the more sporadic Uzi. There's even a knife if you're feeling brave. And while these power-ups help alleviate some of the difficulty, ultimately it will all come down to your raw skill to finish this game. The game could be insanely difficult, and believe me, I had to make myself take a break a few times out of fear of chucking my mouse through the window. But like any bad trip, you just have to take a deep breath, remind yourself none of it's real, and just press on as calmly as possible. And before you know it, you'll be gliding through the first handful of levels, popping off headshot after headshot. It's a simple but incredibly strong gameplay loop that gives you that pure arcade fun where you can just turn your brain off and operate off of pure muscle memory and instinct. And there's of course a leaderboard so you can compete against other post-void junkies for the high score. It's dope! 
Like, literally, it might actually be dope in video game form. It's freaking addictive. Now, as much as I love Post Void, it's not exactly a game I can recommend to everybody. Obviously, if you are somebody who is sensitive to flashing lights or are a little too weirded out by all things psychedelic, then this one isn't for you. But if you crave fast-paced, skill-based, addicting arcade shooters and are a fan of Hunter S. Thompson and Hotline Miami, well then, log your ass onto Steam and get downloading. Oh, and you know the best part? This game is only three bucks on Steam. Three! So even if you just want to try it out, it's not going to break the bank far cheaper than an actual drug addiction. Just make sure and drink lots of water and have someone spot you when you play, okay? I want you to be safe on your journeys, Yarg. But hey, what do you guys think? Anybody having a good trip with Post Void, or did it make you throw up and cry? Be sure to tell me in the comments. Real quick, if you enjoyed this video, then please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. It is a massive help for this channel, and I appreciate any help I can get. Like your indie games twisted and disturbing? Then might I recommend my review for Carrion, where you play as a hungry mass of evil jello. I post videos every week, sometimes twice a week if I decide I hate sleeping, so be sure to ring that notification bell so you are the first to see them. I'm Kirk, and thank you for watching this video. Stay safe out there.